Hey everybody, today's active self-protection extra lesson. I am here at the Surefire Shoothouse Bonanza. We spent an incredible day yesterday, I mean really a night. I mean, we started training at I think 2 o'clock in the afternoon, went till about 1 o'clock in the morning. Uh, low light, shoot house, um, UTM, some live fire stuff on the range. Had some interesting stuff there, but I just wanted to give you a, an understanding that the principles of gunfighting are the same. My first lesson that I learned, John Chapman's teaching this class, fantastic class on low light shoot house stuff. Now, um, I, uh, I'm gonna adjust this a little bit. So one of the big things that Chappie taught us is uh, we're working on uh, uh, assaulting structures. So he teaches SWAT cops, it's what he does for a living. I'm not a SWAT cop, and you're like, John, what are you doing at a SWAT cop class if you're not a SWAT cop? Well, I mean, of course, Surefire is who put this on, and so they want us to look at the lights, low light shooting, um, you know, th this is what Chappie does, Alliance Police Training Facility, incredible facility. But I, the principles are the same, guys. I mean, they really are. I think that one of the things that stood out to me so far is they have these, you know, four principles for uh, SWAT operations, these four principles that they say, look, we want you to just absolutely think through these. And these are the principles by which all of what we do is built. And I love the fact, first of all, that everything that Chappie and um, John Spears and Steve Fisher are teaching us this these three days is principle based. Here are the principles from which we build our tactics, our techniques, our procedures. I think if you're not doing principle based learning, then you're missing out. It's all then it's anecdote based learning. And I think this is far superior. Uh, and the biggest core principles that they had, there are four of them, and I think you're gonna go, hmm, those sound familiar. First one, have as many guns in the fight as possible. Now, uh, you know, in the in the purpose of of clearing structures and those kind of things, that means listen, if you're gonna go somewhere, you want to make sure that you have more than one guy there, this, and that, and the other thing. But for us as CCWs, that also has application that listen if you and your partner both carry make sure that you are able to put shots on target and that both of you are getting in the fight if you possibly can and if you can only have one gun in the fight then only have one gun in the fight next one is support your partner uh the next principle there that they always do is you got to support your partner you're not off on your own you have a partner to think about and you have to stay with that partner and you have to help your partner uh, isn't that what we talk about all the time with making sure that you are supporting your loved ones, that you know that they are a part of the fight, that they have their job and your job is to keep them safe as the self-defender. I think that principle uh, comes over piece of cake. The next one, prioritize your targets. Prioritize what you're looking for as you assault structures. They talk about people first, then portals, you know, uh, areas to another place, and then places, dead spaces where people could be hiding. And absolutely, in the CCW world, we prioritize our targets. We look and see what's the most important thing that we have to deal with. Then after that, what's the most important thing to deal with? We talk about prioritizing targets all the time. And final one is violence of action. When it comes time, you know, when we talk about in the applied violence community, not the, I'm not talking about the gun owner community, there's plenty of those folks, but in the applied violence community, the ones who are actually training in self-defense and want to learn how to most effectively use their tools in self-defense, that they have to be ready to apply violence and to apply enough violence soon enough to make sure that they win the fight. So those four principles, man, they're the same principles that you and I use, and I think that's a great thing to remind yourself of, that the principles of, of prevailing in a gunfight are the same no matter who is applying them. Now, how those principles apply if you are a SWAT cop assaulting a structure versus if you're a CCW going to the grocery store, that is where we talk about how the application of the principles might differ. But that's one of the big things that I learned in this class. I got a lot more to bring you. We're going to do some interviews with some key folks, but I thought that training tip there, make sure that you are getting enough gun in the fight, as many guns as you can, always supporting your partner, prioritizing your targets, and making sure that you're applying violence fast enough and enough violence to handle the job. If you do that, I think that you're doing a pretty good job. More learning to come.